In 2008, the political slogan, Yes, We Can, inspired millions to vote for Barack Obama, America's first Black president. But do you know where the slogan comes from? Translated into Spanish, Si Se Puede, was first used by the United Farm Workers of America in 1972 and was coined by Mexican-American labor leader Dolores Huerta. Huerta grew up in a farming and mining community in rural California, surrounded by fellow Hispanic immigrants. Her mother, Alicia Chavez, was a community activist who taught her to be kind and compassionate to others. But when Huerta was at high school, she experienced the realities of racism. Determined to right that wrong and empower other Hispanic children, Huerta became a school teacher. And when she saw her students routinely arriving at school barefoot and hungry because of their hardworking parents' meager salaries, she threw herself into activism, lobbying local government to support immigrant families and helping them register to vote. In 1955, Huerta met Cesar Chavez, a civil rights activist. And together, they co-founded the National Farm Workers Association to represent the interests of immigrant laborers. It was Huerta who came up with the association's slogan, not Chavez, who is frequently given credit for the idea. Catchy, hopeful, and inspiring, the slogan helped the NFWA to achieve many things. Soon, farm workers were granted the right to unionize, had better working conditions, and were given the right to vote with ballots written in Spanish. Yet Huerta's role in those victories as vice president of the NFWA was often undermined. In 1988, while protesting against policies that directly affected farm workers, Huerta was attacked by a police officer and received life-threatening injuries. She survived and spent the rest of her career fighting for women's and workers' rights, becoming a feminist icon in the process and inspiring new generations of women to stand up for their beliefs. Finally, in her early 80s, she gained the recognition she deserved when she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Despite her contributions to farm workers' rights, she remains one of the least known in the American history books. Why do you think women, like Dolores Huerta, have not received equal recognition for their contributions to history? 